One of the important topics in this chapter is how computers represent data. I'm on slide 15 of the PowerPoint presentation. As you know, an electronic device carries a digital signal, and a digital signal can have one of two states. It can either be on or off, similar to a light switch. On means that a current is passing through and therefore can be represented by a number, the number one. Off indicates that there is no electric current passing through and therefore can be represented by the number zero. Since we can represent uh, on or off by numbers, this allows us to use what's called the binary system. The binary system has two unique digits, either a zero or a one. This brings us to how characters are then represented. If every character on your keyboard, every letter, every number, every symbol is given a unique number, we can then convert that number to the binary system and represent each character with a series of zeros or ones. So that's basically what's behind all of this. Uh, some key terms. A single digit, a single zero, a single one is referred to as a binary digit or a bit. Eight of those is considered one byte. And so one character takes up eight bits or one byte. Now, how do we code each of those characters? We use the ASCII code. Um, that is the American Standard Code for Information Interchange. So every, as I said, every number on your keyboard, every letter on your keyboard, every symbol is assigned a, a decimal number. So for example, uppercase A is equal to 65 in decimal. I can take 65 in decimal and turn that into a value in binary or a series of 8 bits. How that conversion of decimal to binary works is on this next slide. Take a look at these tables down below. On the left, I have a number in decimal, 1,210. Each position is worth a value of 10 to a particular power. So 10 to the 0 is worth a 1, 10 to the 1st, 10, etc., etc. Knowing that 0 times 1 at this position gives you 0. So you have 0 ones. You have one ten, you have two hundredths, which is two hundred, and you have one one thousandth, which is a thousand. Now add all of these together, one thousand plus two hundred plus ten plus zero gives you the number one thousand two hundred ten. It works in a similar way for binary. So now when we convert a number from binary to decimal, let's say I give you a four bit number, one zero one zero, and I ask you to tell me what its value is in decimal. Give each position a place value. They are, instead of a power of 10, it is a power of two because we're using the binary system. Now we know that's one, two, 2 to the 2nd, which is 4, 2 to the 3rd, which is 8. 0 times 1 is 0, 1 times 2 is 2, 0 times 4, 0, and 1 times 8 is 8. Add these together, 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0 gives me 10. That tells me that the number 1010 in binary is equal to 10 in decimal. I have another example here, so again, converting a binary to decimal. Here's the binary number, 1001. So go ahead and take a look at how this is done. It uses the exact same process. 